In this Substance Painter tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly import an OBJ file that you UV unwrapped in Maya. If you want to know how to UV unwrap, please see the other video on UV unwrapping with auto seams. In Substance Painter, go to File, New. Then Substance Painter brings up a new project window. It will say Select Template. Go ahead and select the top template, PBR Metallic Roughness. And then we need to change from the default 512 for the document resolution to either 124 or 2048. Then we'll select our file. We'll go to our scenes folder and then select the OBJ that we exported. Then we can say OK. Substance Painter brings it in and it has a two view setup. So it has our UVs over on the right and then our object on the left. All the orbit controls are just like Maya. So left mouse button and alt or option to orbit. And then the first thing we want to do is come over here to texture set settings. And then we want to scroll down and select bake mesh maps. When this pops up, we'll leave everything at the default values, except we'll select 2048. Then select bake selected textures. This is making normal maps, world space normals, ambient inclusions, curvature, all kinds of other stuff that allows your textures to work much better. Select OK, then go back to layers. We can just start right away painting. So if I paint, with this aluminum, it starts painting right on the object. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see what's happening. Then if we scroll down, you'll see that we have material and we have color, height, rough, and metal. I could turn off these other ones and now I'm painting just the color. I could turn off and just paint the height. So you see how this is painting height on there. I could paint the roughness. I could even paint just the metal. So you see here, I'm just painting the metal texture. So this is very powerful. We can select something else such as this pebble thing. And if we only paint the height, it's going to be, you know, kind of pebbly as we go on there. We can change the size of our brush and paint big pebbles on our textures. And you can see how that works. I can also paint over here very quickly and paint all these pebble objects on. This has layers that work just like Photoshop. So I can create a new fill layer on top and then I can select something like this blue plastic. And then right on here, I can select add black mask. Now I don't see any of that. And so what I can do is right click on the mask and click add generator. There's no generator selected. So right down here in generator, I'll select this. And then I can select something like curvature. And then now this goes right on the edges and it has all kinds of adjustments that I can make to change that. On top of this, I can make another fill layer and I could go get something like I could type rust and then I could put in this coarse rust on this fill layer. Then I can go ahead and add another black mask, right click on the mask, and then I can add a generator and then select my generator and something like dirt. And now you can see how it adds that rust texture just kind of all over. And then we can continue to add more and more things, change our mask. And then I can also just go ahead and paint right on top if I wanna have some paint. So I can close this out and then go get some aluminum and paint some aluminum right on top of there and make my textures however I want. So this is very powerful. What we wanna do is first file, save our substance file, and we wanna go ahead and you can save that in your source images or in your substance folder is fine. And then we'll call this table and we'll click save. Then what we wanna do is export our textures. So we go file, export textures, and then we want to click this and pick our source images folder inside our Maya project. So this is my source images folder. I click open and then export. So all my textures are now exported. If I go back into Maya, so here's Maya, I want to apply these textures. So to do that, I can click on the substance tab right here. You probably don't see this. So to get this, you need to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. Here, search for substance. Then in Maya plugin manager, you want to click on all the substance ones. So then this will have the substance painter plugin loaded in Maya. Once you do that, click on the substance tab, and then we want this little icon that has three squares and a circle. Then we'll select multiple maps, and then we'll go to our source images folder, and right here we have all our maps. So this is great. We select select, and we click apply. If we go ahead on Arnold and we select a sky dome and then we open Arnold render view and we render, 
you'll notice that the material is not applied. That's because we have to assign this material to the object. To do that, we can go to the hypershade. It's this little blue circle in the top. And then in the hypershade, you'll see our new material here brought in as an AI standard surface. We can label this table shader. Then we can move our hypershade to the right. Then we can click our table right here, and then right click in the hypershade and assign material to selection. So then if we go ahead and look at our Arnold render view, you'll notice that our textures are all brought in and look great. So hopefully this allows you to quickly add textures in Substance Painter, export those textures, and then use the Substance Painter plugin in Maya to import your textures and assign them to your objects. Happy 3D modeling.